How's up guys? Today we're working on the by the way, don't we? Now this song only has four chords uh, for most of the song. There is a fifth chord that comes in a little bit later. And there are a few different ways we're going to play these chords. There's a few lead parts thrown in there as well. So we're going to start off in our first verse with these four chords. So an A minor. To a C. To an F. long single strums just like I did there. So A minor, pop your first finger on the second string, the first fret, your second finger on the fourth string, the second fret, then your third finger on the third string, the second fret. For your C, we can actually leave our first and second fingers where they are. So that first finger on that second string in the first fret, and your second finger on the fourth string, the second fret. Then just move your third finger onto the fifth string in the third fret. to an F. So our first and third fingers stay where they are now. So your first finger on that second string in the first fret still. And then your third finger on the fifth string in the third fret. We're going to move our second finger down to the third string in the second fret. And then your fourth finger goes on to the fourth string in the third fret. Now when using this shape for the F, we don't want to be touching that first string at all. Or if you do, you want to be muting it with your first finger. So just angling it down slightly so it's touching that first string. Now you can use your first finger to bar those top two strings. It is a little bit trickier, uh, but you do get sort of a, a full chord. So A minor, to C, to F, and then an E. So the easiest way to change from the F to the E is to slide it all back one fret. So now move your second finger onto the first fret in the third string, third finger onto the fifth string in the second fret, and your fourth finger onto the fourth string uh, in the second fret. Now an E7 also works really well here, so just that same shape but without your fourth finger there. So we've got an open fourth string instead. Now we do that first chord progression twice, and then the pre-chorus we do something very similar. So we're going to do that A minor to the C. But now instead of going to the F, now we're going to go to a D. So your first finger on the third string, the second fret, second finger on the first string, the second fret, and then your third finger on the second string, the third fret. So our pre-chorus will sound like this. And then we do a stop, uh, and the vocals keep going, and then we come back into the chorus. Now, in our first chorus here, we don't actually play any chords. Um, now, what you can do is you can play it like we're going to play the second chorus, which we'll get to in a little bit. What actually goes on here is the first time through, we're just going to play the tonic. Right, or the bass note, but not always the lowest bass note, if that makes any sense. So rather than playing those chords, we're just going to play for the A minor. We're just going to hit that 6th string on the 5th fret. And we just hit that once. For the C, we're going to hit the 5th string on the 3rd fret. For the F, we're going to hit the 4th string on the 3rd fret. And then the E, just move that back one fret, so the 4th string on the 2nd fret. Now we do that once, and then we have this triplet part that comes in. Now, this is quite a tricky part, so what I'm going to do here is actually make the left hand as easy as possible, so you can really focus on your right hand picking. So what I'm playing here isn't exactly what goes on in the song, but it's still going to work really well. It's not really super necessary anyway, it's very low in the mix, uh, and people aren't going to be able to notice if the one or two notes are slightly different. So we're still going to do that same chord progression, to A, to C, to F, to E. But now we've got this triplet pattern going on with our right hand, and triplets just mean groups of three. With our left hand, just make that A minor shape that we already did, and we're going to pluck with our right hand the fourth, to the third, to the second strings, and try to palm mute that too, so just rest to the side of your palm here, right back against the bridge on the string. I'm going to do that group of three eight times. Right, so it doesn't seem too hard, but up to speed, it's actually more like this. Right, so it is quite tricky with your right hand. Uh, as I said, not super necessary, unless you really want to play it. And we're just going to do that same group of three with our right hand, but with each chord shape. So always hitting the fourth, third, and second strings, and just moving between the chord shapes. So our C. So you might notice 
stretched out, got a little bit out of time. Even with my right hand, I'm, I'm struggling to play that just a little bit, so don't worry about it too much. Now our second verse, exactly the same as the first verse, uh, but only once through a chord progression. It's only a half verse. Then we go into the pre-chorus, uh, A minor to C to D again. Now instead of the stop, we're going to do this guitar part. And then do the stop. So all on the fifth string, seventh fret, fifth fret, third fret, second fret. Now in this second chorus, we're actually going to change up how we play these chords a little bit. So what I've done here is to put on a, just a little bit of overdrive. Uh, or a light distortion, and we're going to play these as power chords. So for our A minor, or now just an A power chord or an A5, your first finger goes up on the 6th string in the 5th fret, and then I like to use my 4th finger, but a lot of people do just use your 3rd finger, uh, but that goes up onto the 5th string in the 7th fret. we just hit those top 2 strings. And what we're going to do this is strumming on the off beats, which means if a beat is like this, we're strumming in between each of those claps. So the easiest way I find to do this is if you pretend to just stand it down, up, down, up, down, up, um, all those up strums are actually going to be in between the beats. So just do those up strums and skip the down strums. Just like that. Then we move to a C. So that same shape goes down to the 3rd fret and onto the 5th and 4th strings. So you're first thing onto the 5th string of the 3rd fret and then your 4th or 3rd finger onto that 4th string in the 5th fret and keep doing that same thing. To the F, then your first finger on the 6th string in the 1st fret, and your 3rd or 4th finger on the 5th string in the 3rd fret. Then to our E. So now I'm just using my 1st finger on that 5th string in the 2nd fret, and just an open uh, low E string, an open 6th string. So all the way through. through on its own, do it through it again, and this time that triplet uh, pattern comes in. Now we move straight into a, a little bit of a post chorus, or you could call it a bridge I suppose, and that triplet part keeps going, and we're going to keep using power chords. Our string pattern is going to change a little bit here. So now we're going to start like this. Pre-chorus, um, A minor to C to D, exactly the same as we did it the first time. And then you have our standard stop, which normally goes for one bar, that goes for two bars now. So just stopping for a little bit longer before we head into our last chorus. So our last chorus, we're going to do it similar to the first chorus, so there are no chords going on at all. Uh, but we're actually not even going to do that single note sort of thing that we did at the start either, just no guitar part at all for the first half. And the second half of the last chorus, we go back into that uh, offbeat power chord part. <laughs> But we do have long held chords as well. So I'll be doing that at the same time if you do have two guitarists. That's doing your long held chords. And then we actually finish on an outro, which is the same as the bridge, uh, which is a little bit unusual. So go back into that other strumming pattern. As well as doing that triplet guitar part. And then we end on that. And there we go guys, that's fall on by why don't we? Hope you enjoyed the lesson, leave any comments, questions or requests in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe, I have new lessons coming out every single week. It really does help support the channel. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Sam, I'll see you next time.